In this video, I will show you how to draw nano cluster by using Vista software. This process can be applied for any material. We will be considering example of AU that is gold and the platinum that is PT. So let's begin. First, go to the Google and type crystallography open database. Click on this website. Here you will find option for the search. Click over here. Then go down and over here type the element. So its element name is AU. The number of distinct element minima and maxima is just one. Click send. And over here you will find the list of CIF file reported by different research group. And in case of AU the space group is FM-300 that is phase centered cubic structure with a cell parameter. So simply go ahead and click on the CIF file. So it will help you to download the CI file for the AU. Repeat the same for any other element. Over here we will be considering the platinum PT. Again number of minima and minima maxima is 1. So just click. So over here again PT is FM-3M that is face centered cubic. Click on the CI. So it will be downloaded. The next if you don't have Vista software you can just go ahead and type the Vista software in the Google click on this link this is a free software you can download for windows for mac or for a linux once you have done this one open the vista software here i have already drawn the nano cluster for the gold and for the platina now i will show you step by step so first go to the download folder so here we have the ci file for the au and the platina so let's drag it to the vista software so initially it will look like a unit cell right so what we need to do is go and click on the edit then edit data and click on the crystal shape so here click on the new so the new crystal shape a new crystal shape has a miller indices of 100 and apply so you'll see it look like this plane okay now let's change this to 111 so it's changed the shape if we use one 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 triple one then it look like this one we can also do the combination of different plane so let's consider one zero zero and click on the new one more but this time change it to one one zero and apply so you'll see the combination of these two plane create another type of crisp, uh, shape so it has a different phase along different plane Anyway, click on OK. Now you can use your mouse and you can rotate this unit cell. Now let's go and click on the boundary. In the boundary, you will find the X maxima and minima. So change it to minus one, minus one, minus one, and X maxima, keep one, 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 and then apply. Now we can see the shape is covered by the gold atom. But there are few gold atoms which are outside of the shape. So how to delete those atoms? First click on the plane like A. Now we can see this is outside of this shape. Go and select this cursor, white cursor and select the atom which you don't want to see. Select it and use the keyboard to delete it. Repeat the same for another phase. Okay. Now click on this one and you will see, now we can see the shape is surrounded by the gold atoms. Let's click on space filling over here. Right now is a ball and stick, so change to space filling. So it looks like a gold cluster. Uh, you may see the shape still visible and also the unit cell age is also visible. So how to remove those things? here crystal shape so just uncheck this box so the shape will be disappear and about the age of the unit cell again go back and oh, sorry go to the properties and in the properties you will find unit cell line so do not show click over here do not show and apply and this way it will be gone okay repeat the same with the platinum just drag it to the vista software so this is a unit cell go to the edit 
edit data crystal shape create new plane first is 100 second plane is 110 apply okay then go to the boundaries and the boundaries change boundaries from minus one minus one minus one to plus one apply okay now select this white cursor and change plane to a once done now click on show shape and check this box so the shape will be gone and here ball and stick instead of use a space filling and to remove this one unit cell age uh, click on the properties and do not show okay so this way oh, sorry again same mistake okay we got now if you want to save this file just go and click on the file and save as or export data export raster image so you can use export raster image and you can give the name tif file you can choose the file format and simply click save so the the image will be exported if you are interested to know how to use vista software to simulate the xrd data and uh, also how to calculate the lattice parameter lattice constant and the d spacing check out my other videos the link is given in the description box i hope this through this video you learn something and uh, do like share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon button to be updated with my new videos